It's time to react. What's going on, YouTube? What's going on, YouTube? What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Brad Still Channel, Still Reactions. Yatta ka! Is where it's happening. Thank you guys for joining me on the Bradical Bandwagon today for another reaction video. And on today's video, we're going back in time, folks. We are going back and checking out one of the greats, Don't Stop Believing, by Journey, Steve Perry, live in Houston, 1981, on the Escape Tour. I'm telling you what, in all my years of listening to this great song, I don't know if I've ever even heard Journey do a live rendition of it. This may be the first time, I can't remember if I've ever heard Journey do this one live, especially from back in their heyday. So that's what I'm gonna be checking out today here on the channel, Steve Perry, one of the all-time greats. Before I get to this, I've got some covers and original music on my channel that I wish you'd check out. Here's a snippet of one now. I'm tearing down the walls, kicking down the door. If you wanna hear the full thing, There'll be a link to it at the end of this video and a link to it in the video description below. Also, the red subscribe button is below. I'm trying to get to 200,000 subscribers. So if you're watching and you're not subscribed, I wish you would take one second out of your day to click that red subscribe button and then you're on the Bradical Bandwagon for life. Okay, here we go with Journey. Live in Houston, 1981, the Escape Tour. Don't stop believing. Hitting play right now. We're still going crazy over this song to this day. That sounds like the recording. Just a small town girl. Ha. Ah. Living in a lonely world. Ah. She shook the midnight train going anywhere. You want to talk? You want to talk about a powerful voice my gosh when his vocal comes in it's just like wow like it makes your hair stand up on your arms just a yeah born and raised right here in Houston <laughs> it's just a midnight How oh, can you imagine being there? A singer in a smoky room. You smell a wine and cheer perfume. For a smile, it can share the night. It goes on and on and on. Come on. Come on. Dude, I have chilled. When that when they came in full on that chorus right there, dude, I have chills right now. Oh my god, his voice is so powerful. It's unbelievable. He is taking he is he is opting to go up on notes and he doesn't even have to. He is making the song harder to sing than it already is just because he's that good of a vocalist. My gosh. And look at this. Such a I mean, compared to what we have today. Such a minimal band. You, drums, bass, electric, keys. Like, and they sound like, I mean, it's so full. Literally, literally better than the recording. Better than the recording, that note. No, not. I mean, he hit that with, like, first of all, effortless. This dude looks like he ain't even trying right now.
Could the jeans be any tighter? <laughs> That mic, before he hits this note again, that mic looks like a flashlight or something. It's so huge. Listen, first of all, like I said, could the jeans be any tighter? But also, notice how, like, again, compared to what we have today, and I'm not dogging what we have today. I know times change. But, like, they don't have, like, any extravagant light shows or fog machines or video displays or background dancers or anything. Like, they're tearing the house down in just, like, five five dudes up there playing music, you know? Goodness gracious. This guy right here. This guy right here. He's he may be one of the best singers I've ever heard in my life. He he really like I talk a lot about Freddie Mercury. I talk a lot about some of these great front men that we've had in, in some of these bands and in some of these you know, some of the all-time great like Whitney Houston, I think is one of the best singers ever. I think I think his name really belongs in the discussion. <laughs> like listen at this guy. That harmony is great. <laughs> that three-part harmony is so good. Whoever's taking that high harmony, don't stop believing. Oh, that is so good. Do you think do you think they could have possibly imagined that Listen, 91, 01, 11, 20, 41 years later, 41 years later, and people are still jamming to this song. Like, 41 years later, this song, this performance right here was 12 years before I was even born. And I know every word. I've sung it a billion times. I've jammed to it a billion times. You have too. Do you? I wonder if they like. What would they have thought if you would have told them, "Hey guys, in 41 years, people are still. This song's going to be just as relevant in 41 years as it is right now." Nice. He was staring that camera down. Oh, I love that ending. First of all, oh my lord. Listen to how good that harmony is at the end. Don't stop. Gosh. Listen, I know. I, I don't agree with these people that constantly put down today's music and today's artists. I think that's not fair. I mean, like I said earlier, times change. New eras come in, and there's a lot of talented, very talented singers, like all-time great 
talented vocalists and musicians and artists out there right now. I'm not going to take anything away. But man, this right here, this was a special time in music. This era right here, woo! I mean, it's just that, that 70s into the 80s, like that era, gosh almighty. I mean, I don't know. I don't know, like, oh, I don't, I don't know what you do with that. I don't know what you do with that. I don't know. I'm, I'm not saying nobody will ever be as good or what. I'm just saying that's just a special era. Queen, Journey, Heart, Elton John. Elton John may have been a little before. Well, Elton John was 70s, right? I mean. And then Whitney Houston came along. Like, in terms of singers, not taking anything away from another era, but that era right there. I mean, come on, man. Whitney, Freddie, Steve, Stevie, Nix. I mean, gosh. Just one giant after the other. And then you hear, I mean, come on, man. This guy's vocal that he just laid down live. Looked like, it looked like, you know what it looked like? It looked like this wasn't even like the live show. It looked like this was like sound check or something. That's how effortless he looked. You know, when bands go in during the day and it's an empty building and they just got to check, make sure they can hear, they run through a song. That's what it looked like. That's how laid back he was. Sing of that song right there. It just like he was just kind of strolling around the stage. You would have thought it was the sound check, but instead it's a full, uh, woo. That's, like, that's kind of performance right there that just stops you in your tracks. That's so good. Journey is an all-time great band, and he is an all-time great singer. I don't care what anybody's got to say. Thank you guys for joining me on the Bradical Bandwagon. Hey, don't forget my covers. some of my covers and original music should be on your screen right now. And uh, the link to it is in the video description below. Red subscribe button is below as well. Wish you would check that out, too. Thank you, guys. Take it in. Soak it up. Bye.